I'm John Sadler, president of Sadler Sports Insurance, and we've been the officially endorsed insurance agency for American Youth Football and American Youth Cheer for many years. I wanted to produce this educational video to help explain how to access the insurance and risk management services on our website. Our newly redesigned website was made to quickly and efficiently handle all prospect and client service requests without ever having to speak to a staff member at Sadler. However, should you have a question or need help with a service request, we stand ready to assist you by way of chat, email, or phone. So let's get started by navigating the website. Here's our homepage at www.sadlersports.com. Just go to the section for association programs and scroll down and click on the link for American Youth Football. Let's start out by talking about the risk of going uninsured or being underinsured. I think everybody here already realizes that youth tackle football and cheer carry higher risk of injury and litigation than most other youth sports. Many teams, associations, and conferences may be underinsured. We currently insure approximately 70% of all member teams of AYF through the endorsed insurance program. That means that the other 30% buy from another source, which means that they may be underinsured due to limits that are too low or unacceptable policy exclusions, which we'll talk about more in a minute. What I want you to know is that significant injuries and lawsuits regularly occur within AYF, and our carriers pay out a significant number of claims. Here I have listed for both the accident and the general liability policy the, the average claim amounts, as well as the largest claim amounts that have been paid out recently under the program. Also, I'd like to point out that other youth football and cheer organizations have had general liability claims that have exceeded a million dollars. But what you need to know here is that you can't even afford to pay these averages out of pocket. So what are the most common types of injuries and lawsuits that we see? First of all, we see spectator injuries, which are primarily slips, trips, and falls in parking lots, walking paths, and on bleachers. We also see a lot of people stepping in holes and being injured, and we see playground injuries. Under player injuries, they're caused by a number of, of, of different reasons, primarily due to lack of supervision and lack of proper instruction. But whenever the player injury is serious, uh, that often results in a lawsuit. We also see a number of coach and staff injuries, which once again are slips, trips, and falls in parking lots. And, and unfortunately, we, we see a number of uh, assault cases uh, by another coach or official. And uh, we also see concession stand injuries, such as burns and lifting injuries. Then we just, we see a number of unusual injuries, such as falls from parade floats. The bottom line is that there's a lot of risk in youth tackle football and cheer, and you need to have the best possible insurance program. There are 12 reasons why the endorsed AYF insurance program blows away the competition and why you should buy from us as opposed to a local agent or another sports insurance specialist. Almost any association can qualify for AYF and AYC membership in order to access the endorsed plan. We're a single source for all your insurance policies which means you can wrap everything up in one fast and easy transaction. Obviously, we have group buying power, which helps with the negotiations. We have high limits on the accident and the general liability in order to protect you against serious claims. But it's not just the high limits, it's what's inside the limits, and that's where the custom coverage enhancements come into play, such as sex abuse and molestation and non-owned and hired auto liability, plus the elimination of dangerous coverage loopholes that are often found in other competing programs such as competitive cheer stunts, volunteer versus volunteer exclusion, punitive damages exclusion, bleacher claps, and assault and battery exclusion. Now this is unique in the industry in that we have instant online 24-7 quote pay print of your coverage documents and certificates for field owners, which is important because we found that many of our clients like to wait into the last minute. Also, we're unique in the industry in that we allow you to self-issue 
your own certificates of insurance for new field owners 24 7 which is also very convenient we have best in industry risk management content to help keep you out of trouble so the claim is not filed in the first place and I think everybody knows what the risk is in youth tackle football and cheer and how important risk management is obviously our insurance meets the AYF rulebook insurance requirements for travel teams that participate in the regional and national championships and for hosting a regional championship. Also, we cover your spring and summer passing leagues and camps for no additional premium charge. And a lot of people don't know this, but when you buy from the endorsed program, you participate in an important safety study because your accident claims data is captured in a reporting system. And we're able to generate a number of interesting and meaningful reports. And this is how we determined in a groundbreaking study that age only classifications are no more risky than age weight classifications in youth tackle football. Also, it's important to note that our staff is going to take great care of you. 98% of our prospects and clients rate our service staff as awesome for speed and effectiveness of response. We put into place a new ticketing system back in 2013, which has taken our client service through the roof. And I can tell you, at the close of each transaction, we ask for our staff to be rated based on their performance. And the rating system results in a lot of competition within our office to see who can get the highest grades. And that's to your advantage. And finally, if you ever want to compare our program to a competitor's program, we've provided a coverage checklist document that can be printed off here that will help in the comparison. And next, I wanted to very briefly review all five of the insurance policies. First, the accident policy pays medical bills on behalf of injured participants on an excess basis after family health insurance, if any, has first responded. It covers all of your players, your cheerleaders, and basically all of your staff. The medical limit is $100,000, and the deductible options are your choice of zero, $100,000, or $500. And next, the general liability responds to certain lawsuits alleging bodily injury, property damage, or personal injury, which is slander and libel. Most of the covered claims that we see arise from bodily injury to a spectator or a participant. Coverage is provided for the association as an entity and the respective directors, officers, employees, and volunteers. To each occurrence limit, you can choose either a million, two million, or five million dollars. The sex abuse and molestation sublimit is a million, and non owned and hired auto liability is a million. Under the director's and officer's liability, this responds to certain lawsuits alleging wrongful acts, such as discrimination based on age, sex, race, or handicap, failure to follow your own rules or bylaws when making administrative decisions, and wrongful suspension or termination of league personnel or players. Coverage is extended to the association as an entity and the respective directors, officers, employees, and volunteers. You can either choose a $1 million or $2 million limit. Under the crime, it pays for financial loss due to insider embezzlement of funds, improper payment of personal expenses uh, from league accounts or credit cards, and theft of other property. It also pays when an outsider steals your money and securities. The limit is $25,000. And finally, the equipment policy pays for financial loss to league equipment, such as your sports equipment, field maintenance equipment, concession equipment, your fences, bleachers, school boards, lights, and your small buildings. And it provides coverage against the perils of fire, wind, theft, and vandalism. There's some important things that you need to know before you apply for your coverage. First of all, how do you apply for your accident and general liability if you're a conference association or a single team? The rule to follow is that the highest entity, whether a conference or association, should always apply with a single application under its name and pay a premium on behalf of all teams. 
which means if you're a conference, you should apply with a single application under the legal name of the conference. You should also list the legal name of all associations as named insureds on the application, and you should pay a premium on behalf of all of the teams of all of the associations. Now, this provides coverage for the conference, the association, and the teams, and the respective directors, officers, employees, and volunteers. Also, conferences that purchase insurance on 100% of the teams under all associations will have automatic coverage at no additional charge for conference all-stars and if the conference is a regional championship host. If you're a multi-team association, you want to apply with a single application under the legal name of the association and pay a premium on behalf of all teams. This is the only way that general liability coverage can be extended to the association, all teams, and the respective directors and officers. But if you do it this way, if the associations apply separately, there's no way for the conference and its respective directors and officers to be covered. If you're a single team, you can apply, but coverage is not extended to the association or the conference to which you belong. Now, conferences and associations are required to buy accident insurance and general liability on 100% of the teams. The rate structure assumes that a premium will be paid on behalf of 100% of all teams. If you fail to do this, you're going to subject the program to not collecting enough uh, premium for the exposure, which will result in rate increases in the future. Also, don't try to game the system by underreporting the number of teams on your accident and general liability application. If you try to do this intentionally to save money, that's insurance fraud, and you're going to also jeopardize the payment of your claim, and it's going to hurt the integrity and the competitiveness of the program. When you file a claim, the claims adjuster is going to uh, check your website and your social media, as well as make an inquiry with AYF headquarters and compare the age groups and the number of teams against what was reported on the insurance application. When you apply for directors and officers liability, if you're a conference, you can take out a single application that will cover the conference and all the member associations and you only have to pay one charge. However, uh, in the event that the, there's a lawsuit filed by the association against the conference, there's a little known policy exclusion that may prohibit coverage for the conference. If that's a concern, some conferences may want to consider taking out their own DNO policy and also having their associations separately take out their own DNO policies. Now, if you're applying for crime and equipment, conferences should not attempt to cover the associations under a single crime or equipment application. Instead, the conference and each association should separately apply. So which one of the five insurance policies do you need? Well, the truth is most of you need all of them. It's no brainer that everybody needs accident and general liability, but also you need directors and officers liability because there's been an escalation in lawsuit types that are not covered by the general liability. Also, you need a crime policy uh, if you maintain bank accounts and credit card accounts. And also any conference, multi-team association, or single team that has significant equipment values at risk uh, should take out an equipment policy to protect against fire, wind, uh, theft, and vandalism. To find the rates, you just scroll down the page. The accident and the general liability rates are combined. They're per team. We offer various options uh, on the accident. The deductible can be 0, 100, 250, or 500. And on the general liability, you can choose 1 million, 2 million, or 5 million dollars. Now notice that the rates increase based upon the age group. And under cheerleading, your cheer squads that, that are affiliated with your, your football teams are covered for no additional charge. And by the way, the rates are updated every April for the following season. 
under the directors and officers liability crime and equipment the, the rates for the directors and officers liability and crime are flat charges per governing board and the equipment rate is a rate per $100 of coverage if you want to apply for coverage online you should click on this link where you can get a quote apply make payment and print off your proof of coverage documents and certificates of insurance for field owners in just several minutes 98 percent of our AYF clients apply online because they want instant service on a 24 7 basis now whether you apply online or by paper application you want to permanently save the coverage confirmation email that we send back to you because it has important links that you'll need to print copies of your coverage documents your add delete team forms and your claim forms it also includes a link where you can self-issue new certificates of insurance for new field owners at any time now in case you can't find your coverage document email after you've already applied you can simply visit this section uh, service for current clients and you can get all of the same services all you do is you uh, enter the one that you want and you're going to have to to enter your email address and you will quickly receive an email back that has your your key to unlock your access to your confidential documents now here's our risk management content that's most applicable to AYF and AYC it has a list of important forms articles and risk management programs you can use this content to train your risk management officer, administrators, and staff on how to reduce liability risk. In addition, our templates allow you to document your risk management program and related policies and procedures in writing. At the top of the list, you'll find our waiver and release forms for both your players and your adult volunteers. Now, these are absolutely a must. And yes, they are worth the paper they're written on, even if they don't result in an immediate dismissal of the lawsuit, they will often reduce the claim settlement amount by up to 30%. Now scrolling down, there are a number of important articles here that you need to be familiar with, such as heat illness, avoidance and prevention, the lightning safety 3030 rule, collecting certificates of insurance from your vendors. What you need to know before you sign the sports facility lease agreement and why you don't want to use 15 passenger vans. And also, we have a sample sex abuse molestation protection program, and you want to implement this program or similar to reduce your risk of an incident. And this is a very uh, short and easy to implement program that is the minimum due diligence that you need to comply with under the law. Next is a sample uh, football cheer brain injury concussion risk management awareness program. Now we designed this especially for youth football and cheer and it's a comprehensive program that keys in on training for the administrators, staff, players, and parents. Also concussion recognition, actions to take if a concussion is suspected, and other techniques such as baseline testing and the limitation of contact it practices. And finally, our AYF, AYC risk management program can be used to educate your administrators and staff on identifying and properly responding to various risks at the facility and within your operations. The program keys in on how to appoint a risk management officer to oversee your program, contractual transfer techniques such as participant registration forms, including waiver release and emergency information and medical consent, requiring your vendors to provide certificates of insurance and how to avoid risk in terms of your facilities, equipment, supervision, instruction, sports injury care, uh, detailed sex abuse and molestation controls, and auto safety. Now I would strongly recommend that you implement the last two programs here. I think uh, in today's risk environment, you, you have no option but to do so, in my opinion. We've also assembled our most important blog articles for football and cheer. The most popular ones are, why weight limits are not necessary in youth tackle football to protect lighter players, 
Should youth football leagues allow add-on helmet products? The answer is no. Also, the uh, AYF releases tackle injuries reports, some very interesting information there. And also, chair injuries, low frequency, but high severity. And we will continue to update this section for the most applicable blogs to youth tackle football and cheer. If you have any questions, please call or visit our website. Thanks for your time today, and we very much appreciate your business and support.